Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. Our very own Chloe, you need to clean this room. This place is a fucking disaster area. What the fuck's going on in here? Ugh, I mean, I thought I was I messy. Still smell like last night. I really need to change. Yeah, okay, fine. If you want to keep fucking yelling about it. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Hmm. Okay, I'm... Pun. Bad. Pun. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Uh, I save all of these. You have to delete the photo of me dancing. I don't want to get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary, Elliot. So I'm thinking that uh, this Elliot guy here is her boyfriend. Let's see what we got going on here. Poster. What's on this poster here? Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. What show was that? To who? More of a white blood transfusion? Pun sex? What the fuck? Must be one of them indie bands I keep hearing about. Skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Unfortunately, the authorities were on a fucking truck and they were Oops. Oh, whoa, we have a power hat. Can we wear that, that shit? Long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Oh, what kind of beer are we drinking? Anything? No. All right. Yeah. Why well, we got? We only got one shirt. Oh, we have bonus outfits. We got bonus outfits. Yeah, let's go with the pre-order bonus. Because I pre-ordered a game for some reason. You need a pre-order game that came out digitally to make sure you get it. That is kind of a dumb, com dumb concept, ain't it? Pre-ordering fucking digital games. Yeah, that works. And she broke the hinges on the drawer. Yeah. And it's broke. I really should get going. Yeah, you probably should. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's look at a class photo here. Here's who's in your class here. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Well, you were drinking and you were trying to get stoned. She might have been stoned the whole time. Chloe, are you sure that what happened last night? Are you sure you just didn't dream it? See, so who who's all the people in this class here? Warren, Chloe Bryce, Ham Jones, Zachary Riggs, Tara Yard, Logan Robinson. Alicia uh, Anderson, Justin Williams, Ellen Hampton, I guess that's her boyfriend, Dan, Dan Ward, Ellen Harris, Del Hill, blah 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 blah. Who fucking gets the rest of them? Put the rest of these names here. Wait, 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 Miss Arcadia. Who in the hell is Miss Arcadia? Wait, what? Who? What photo? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's totally not a virus. Chloe, click on. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Uh, well, I Wait, we have a bear. With a fucking <laughs> bask, thingy. immortals in the light of the glowy bear. Yeah, the glowy bear. That was oh, so we have a nerf fill here. That stupid science fair. Yeah, he definitely looks a lot more happy than you were. At least you won. Mm -hmm. Won something at least. Well, let's see. Uh, let's get, yeah, that looks stupid. Tear that shit down. Horns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Yeah, let's just tag the fucking room. It ain't more. It's already in a fucking disaster. You might as well fuck it up more. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this one. We'll stay away from the um, fucking Michael Jordan quote. Just ask Steve Jobs. I'm pretty sure he's dead. 1% inspiration, 99% LSE. Well, that, that's true for Beatles. And Led Zeppelin, basically every single Dark band out of the 60s and 70s, they're all so fucking high. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Well, I think Aerosmith started to suck because they got sober. 
All right, let's leave the fucking disaster area. No, it's Chloe's room. Oh wait. Where's my phone? Oh my god, you already lose it. How drunk was I last? You only had one beer. Hang on a second, mom. Where's my fucking phone? With moms. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Oh, suck it. It's still at the fucking barn. I hate to go back go and you know, fucking get that shit. Uh. Bathroom. Mirrors. If you've ever played Silent Hill 3, you realize the mirrors are bad. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Mmm, no. Alright, let's get the fuck out of it. Alright, so it'd be her bedroom, which would be over here. Oh, let's take a look at Arcadia oh, Bay here. Home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Chloe, what the fuck are you talking about? Let's take a look down the street here. What does that say there? Sherwood uh, Grocery Products. Fair prices. I can't see the rest of it. Alright. Oh, look, trophies that somebody that probably wasn't Chloe won. Uh, nothing here. Ringing ding. Let's take a look at the rest of the fucking uh, house here before we uh, get the fuck out of here. Mom's finally making her bed again? I guess that's a good sign. Or maybe she's just really fucking lazy. It is currently 7 a.m. in the morning. Unless that fucking alarm there doesn't work. It's just stuck at 7 the whole time. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Love after Don't loss. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. And again, remember Chloe's dad has been dead for I think about like two years. I think I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, let's open the drawer. See, was this go snoop of your parents' fucking your it's mom weird shit? That mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Oh, definitely not upper class. They are. Let's see what else. Fo oh, phone. Open while we got in here. Uh oh. <sighs> Mom. Bad enough that David comes here. For yeah, let's close that. Pretend we didn't see that. Thank you. Necklace. I made this for Mom when I was like ten years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Um. Probably Chloe. And let's see. I'll let her picture of dad. Pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? Yeah, play session on dresser. Uh, every count where you I be on. deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Put up, you know, high end pictures of her husband. I mean, I understand you got a new boyfriend, but still, that, I don't know, it, I guess it depends on the person. Like I say, you know, if, if I had a wife, and she died, and I got me a new girlfriend, you like, do I really want to hide pictures of her around everywhere and just pump away and you can't find them? I can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Ring. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. Mom's okay. old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Don't do it. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Uh, insurance value, 1200 Cash value, 300 Store credit value, 500 Only an estimate offer, not guarantee. Okay, let's get, yeah, let's call the phone here. Find out where the fuck our phone's at. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? 
She kind of has a deer in the headlights kind of look on her face, and he kind of looks like he got stuck out of fucking Sony's porno. Go ahead and call the fucking phone, because we need to find out where it's at. Yes, we get it, you're angry. Ring, ding, ding. Like, you don't have to actually hold it. You're calling your phone, Chloe. You don't have to hold the phone next to you. Yes, hello, no one who's on the other side. It sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Is it in here? Yeah, it is in here. Oh, wait, it's down here? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Oh, I just realized she actually has a mark on her face where she got hit. Oh, okay, here's our Max. Uh, let's see. So the last text we got from Max was back in 2009. And she sent her... Hmm. Chloe tried talking to her, but Max doesn't respond. Hmm. Uh, let's see, what about Frank? How much money? Yeah, how much money was it? 175 bucks? So it sounds like Chloe has a bit of a drug problem. So you're gonna be else here. We got Elliot, her boyfriend. Chemistry homework. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in and just look for all her shit. You know, I'm tackling her. Nurse. And messages from mom. Will you be home by curfew? Okay, so we're playing love lessons. Current date of the game, Rocket Run. Hey, May. Early Can May. Down with you, please? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wonder if her mom's gonna say anything about the bruise on her face. Her room? Yeah, let's go if we can get it there without walking into the fucking door frame. Let's see, where is it? I thought I fucking saw it. There it is, right there. Oh, looks like we should hang on to that. I need to talk to you. Oh boy, what did I fuck up this that time? Really makes me want to hurry. No one Chloe is probably a lot of things. Coming, Mom. <sighs> Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Yep, yep, yep. Dining table, here I come. Yeah, the controls on this thing aren't they're not that great. Let's take a look around the house first before we, you know, see trash. What's in the trash can not outside trash? Oh, though, but it's pretty clear her boy toy David hasn't worked in like a year. Oh. Let's see, we got some mail. From Blackwell is never good. Yeah, let's take a look at the letter from Blackwell. Payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mm -hmm. So it looks like. The, I guess Blackwell is, you know, Blackwell Academy, I guess, at the charge of the, uh, tuition. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Yeah, someone's a little bit better. I'm not gonna say who, but someone sounds a Family little better. I used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Trophies, who won these? It's hard to believe I was an 8th grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Uh, hell, I don't fucking know. 
Let's see, TV, this is a... Yeah, I always <laughs> talked about upgrading to a flat screen. This is 2010, and that's still a shitty TV. This bad boy in my room. No, Chloe, that, that is not a bad boy. That's terrible. What we got here? We're already desk. supporting one. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I guess uh, her mom's boyfriend. I guess is a veteran. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. No, oh, that's a good reason as ever. I don't like the plants it's dying. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. AKA, not my responsibility. Made that right. for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. Uh-oh. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his home, maybe? Mm hmm So yeah, Chloe does not like um, her mom's boyfriend at all. Yeah, let's just shake the fucking uh, deer snow globe here. And just throw it on the floor and make a big ass fucking mess. Don't hold it like that, you're going to drop it. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Yeah. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. And the door's right there. See that door, right there. Right there, Chloe. We just escape out into the backyard. Not leave because there's a fucking fence. Well, never mind. I'm sorry. My mistake. Shoot. And now we're just carrying this purse around with us. Get a job on a container ship. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Wildfire warns me. I uh, take it that it's been kind of dry over here in Arcadia. This is today. Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. I hope she's not doing this out loud. You're poor and in trouble. Chloe, your mom is standing right next to you. Well, not next to you, but close enough. And let's talk to her about how she can't afford my uh, my intuition at uh, our shit at Blackwell. And let's just bring that up. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Oh, I won't as long as you keep telling me to do it. I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Mm hmm. I get that. Let's see what we got going on in the pot slow roast? cooker. It looks like, uh, yeah, Mom pot, roast. pot roast. Oh no, she's cooking it for her boyfriend. No! How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Probably because you have a mentality of a fucking eight year old. Have you ever followed that, Chloe? Huh? Yeah, let's just go ahead and put the purse here because it's uh, a complete our objective here. 500 XP unlocked. I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Yeah, don't want to listen to her, parent. Oh. <laughs> now I feel bad. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, Probably it's still 7 o'clock. It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. Wait, she's just always getting in a fight? Can I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night? I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. <sighs> yeah, this is apologize, you know. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. No, she won't. Thank no, you. she won't. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Yeah, let's talk about that pot roast there. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? And what about that engagement ring that you're trying to pawn off? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. 
How well, you told me to go into it. Person, exactly. Well, how about school? How come I fucking can't afford you know, me for being there? Shit, because my scholarship sucks. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. And why well, uh, David, and that's his name. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I don't want bacon's eggs. Grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Yeah. Okay, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Honey's tight enough as it is. Oh uh, well, yeah, maybe David could help, you know, try to get a job and everything. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. I've seen things that I wish I didn't see. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Sure. Yeah, well, mm, and we'll go with this. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such what, Chloe? Such what? Say it! Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Uh, yeah, say what you feel. Let us know how you, you really feel, Chloe. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about that the go so well, did it, Chloe? Mom could ask me to do. <laughs> Anyway, what's this jar here? Oh, I think I really good. Chloe's got some, um... Ooh, she's got some issues. 
She's got a lot of. Yeah, you don't have to hold her like this. Keys and then sneeze no on him. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Yeah, clearly she's got a lot of build up anger. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Hmm. I had a cat at one point. All right, uh, yeah, let's just take a look at. Wait, well, we got a message from Steph from. Ah, uh, yeah, who in the fuck's this? DVD? What DVD? What DVD are you talking about? Oh, uh, I don't want to go to school. It's gonna suck. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. Well, Chloe, based off your life decisions, I think you're gonna do something really silly to get yourself killed in the near future. And here we go. Hey, Bert, shit on me, please. That's the way my day's been going. This terrible. What a piece of crap. I don't want that bad. Hey, I like the car. Kind of. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Uh, this is gonna go great. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Mm, yeah, kind of. Subordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Angry. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes, I'm not that yes. stupid. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Oh joy. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Yes, please. Actually, what car is it? Tiny can't... penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Whoa! Whoa! Chloe, I don't like muscle cars! Whoa! At least Chevys. I get them. That'd be nice. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? He's probably moving in. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. Fire extinguisher. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. I don't think it's going to work the way you think it's going to work. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Yeah, you probably should do that. Let's see what we got here. Dad's old tape? camera. Oh, camera. <laughs> do they even make film for these anymore? What, is it Polaroid? I think so. Actually, I don't know if I've seen a Polaroid film in a while. Uh oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Let's take a look at more this was pictures. This the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Yeah, she, she really does not like David at all. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? What, is this growing uncontrollably and just have your neighbors complain about it? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Alright, let's take a... Wait, what we got here? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Sure. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? Man, she really doesn't like David at all. I wonder, like, does she hate him just simply because she's he's kind of a replacement for her father that her mom lashed onto, or is the guy like an actual asshole? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Oh yeah, this is this put this is tag the fucking toolbox. It gets my special treatment. Chloe, it's not in your name. Does David really need to hear? 
And see. Bye bye. Box. Got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Chloe making bad decisions left and right. There's splink uh, sprinklers over there going off. Actually, I see. Oh, sure, we first Fresh produce, fair prices. New deli section, all produce locally grown. Loans. We're probably going to take one out in this fucking house because apparently we're not making much. Alright, David, I got your shit. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Well, I had a look at things. I was just gonna stare at him. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits? Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My That's attitude all she has is the special, attitude. David. All right. So is the car actually going to run? Are you going to replace the start, uh, spark plug or what? Yeah, sure. Let's do it regretfully. With massive regret. I mean, he, he's kind of staying off this with her as well. But she kind of brings hey, on her. You're taking so. those tools with you, right? Everyone nope, leave them here. A good we have one already. Even though yours is much bigger. We've already got one. But thanks. <laughs> Does this license plate says Jizzwall? Or I'm not just imagining things. Ready to roll? No. I want to talk to you about something. Damn it. Fuck. We don't have to like each other. <laughs> no shit. Respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. And what is that? Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in. Oh boy, Chloe's turning on her Chloe mode. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Oh boy. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your. I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You. your mother. You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. Yeah, well, you Chloe's just going all in his cousin now. Got one <laughs> this guy probably hates her right now. I was in the army. You will respect me. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Why I bother trying? Mission accomplished. Chloe has to be a fucking. Uh, she has to be a nightmare to be around. If she does not like you, you're fucked. Just having to deal with that attitude twenty four seven might. Them no wait. No. Oh boy, now what's going on? Good morning, Chloe. You're sick. Dad loved this song. Well, there's a reason why, because your dad's driving the car. No, it's not David, it's your actual father. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight hole again. 
What a beautiful day. Uh, yep, her. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Uh, da 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 da. No. So her dad is driving the car. She's, um. Losing our father this, really kind of fucked her up. This isn't right. Oh, wait. That. Well, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. David's in the picture of her when she's younger with her mom. I know what a spark plug does, Jerkwad. See, there's anything outside here? No. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Eh, uh, doesn't sound that bad. Dad, turn it up. Okay, well, you don't have to sing. You probably should pay attention to the road. Oh, wait, never mind, we're dead. Yeah, her, her father got killed in a car crash. Uh, time for oh, what? Good morning. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Kind of weird that she fell asleep so quickly in that car. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello. I was actually saying. I thank see everything. Uh, thank you. That's not creepy at all. Alright, bye asshole. Uh, Hello, Black Hell. Looks like a great place. Drugs, they will mess you up. Yeah, Chloe, you should probably look at that. Uh, Go to like seniors. I don't even know. Uh, Jamal Blackwell. Guy's the founder of the school and his name in his honor. I got some theater shit going on over here. God damn, I've been out of school for fucking ten years. I don't want to go back. I really don't want to go back. Oh no, it's her boyfriend. Hey, Chloe. Chloe, run. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Mm, it was press fast it. here. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking do you want to go together tomorrow uh yeah sure why not maybe i try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than i have to but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck right that's totally what i was thinking all right see you in cam yeah for sure chloe your boyfriend's kind of lame just running out there I'll track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Uh, God, I hate this place. 